Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here. Today we're going to be doing the Maze Open. Um, this is courtesy of Chase. So let's check him out. His account is you. So let's have a quick look around. Um, Maze is probably one of the toughest bases around. Um, and we're just looking at the Open. Um, it'll help you whether you're going for the kill on maze or even if you're only going for a farm for some force points the great thing about maze is even if you can't take it down you can still farm a load of force points on the left hand side um, they're only protected by these rocket launchers and these shock blasters and they're all just sitting there waiting for you to grab them so let's check out the hit from chase um, it is a hot landing and you, as you can see, the lasers sort of come in at different ranges, and so do the mortars. And the shock blasters um, all sort of come into play at some stage. So let's have a look at the landing. You can see his two smoke points there. He's going for the perfect um, two smoke landing. You can see that he's dropped those smokes in those specific locations, and then he's flagging all the way up to the left because he wants his Zookas to block right up against that wall. Um, if he flared anywhere in the middle, there could be a, you have to get the flags in the perfect spot. With those smokes there, you'll be able to flag slightly further left and they'll get there every time. Um, it also helps having that flag nice and high so that he's gonna be within Zooka range of these shock blasters. And he's, um, so they're not gonna spread too much looking for something to fire at. And also that second smoke is perfect where these Zookas aren't peaking at all. And you can see the um, first smokes are now expiring. So it's perfect. He's got all the Zookas under one smoke. And it's only these rocket launchers that are in range. I believe his laser's out of range. Um, and he doesn't even bother shocking the shock blasters. Um, but the timing is critical here. He's parked up, as soon as those two shock blasters are down, he's already placing a smoke that he's going to walk into. Um, the shock's at about eight o'clock. Um, and he's smoking for that rocket launcher range. So before he even gets in there. So here we go. And then flares across and smoke, smoke. The, the rocket launchers did turn, but that's fine. That's all good. And we just got the shock blaster up top is in range, down low is in range, and these lasers, I believe that far one is out of range, but that's all good. So he shot, uses critters for the top, and then shocks the lasers. Um, doesn't worry about the bottom shock blaster, because yes, it will pick off some girls, but it's not going to be um, too many. And then look at the timing. That flare went straight up as soon as the rocket launcher was down, as soon as these shocks expired. Um, a little double smoke there, that's all good. And then he's getting right up into his next spot. Where you can see all of these things are coming into range at different times. So you've really got to have it in the back of your mind where all of these ranges are. So you know what you need to shock at each different stage. So here we go. Um, he's tagged the... Shock Blaster has already been tagged by the critters that he used earlier. So he doesn't have to worry about flaring. It's awesome technique. Um, sometimes when, when using critters to um, tag things, you're going to be tagging multiple items, but because there's only one defense here, it's fine. Um, and you are going to lose the delay on defenses, but that's fine. And at this stage of the attack, he's going to have lost it anyway because he's been using it. So there we go. He now uses two shocks for the lasers down in the corner and the mortar and rocket launchers on the right. And as soon, see the timing on that flare? He flared straight on um, to the right rocket launcher as soon as that left rocket launcher was down. Just beautiful. And then what that's going to do is before the shock expires, he's going to be in the dead zone of this rocket launcher. How sick is that? So the other rocket launcher turns and he's used that reload time from the last time it was firing. Um, the right rocket launch uh, mortar is going to be firing. Um, it can only take sort of Zookas by about 10 um, once they're spread, about 5 to 10. Um, and the laser can only sort of pop off one or two because of the angle of the line of Zookas. So that's all good. 
hammering this last rocket launcher. He doesn't need to flare onto it because they're the only thing in range or um, in Zooka range. So he's using the targeting priority system just perfectly. And then he's just letting them go, knowing that he doesn't have the G um, any useful GBE. Like he could flare away and try and smoke, but he knows there's not going to be any use. Um, he's now got this whole left side as clear for either farming or using those cells for extra GBE for the next hit. Um, the shot blaster is the only thing at the top and this rocket launch is out of range. So the, what he did at the end there was instead of wasting um, more GBE on flares or smokes or shocks, he's gone straight into um, trying to destroy the next target for the next attacker. So he's already started to damage this. Um, you might want to use your GBE to tag something, maybe clear mines, um, completely up to what the next attacks are up to. So there was an awesome, awesome attack on Maze from Chase, Chinese Artificial Intelligence. Now you know why they call him that, because he's just like a robot. The timing on all of those things is just critical. Um, so make sure you come back and have a look, get in those dead zones, um, shock all the things at the right time and the right ranges, have them all in your head. Um, I think Chase can just see the matrix and he can just pull it all apart. So comment down below um, how you've been going on Maze. This is one of the newer maps, uh, one of the probably the hardest map, um, arguably, depending on the role. Um, and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more Boom Beach.